times, maybe. I gotta pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. In War Thunder, there are often a lot of gimmicky mechanics or vehicles that are overlooked. And this is one that I haven't seen anyone talk about, really. Even I didn't know this existed. I got an email pointing me to this. The Merkava Mark III gets a high explosive variable time fuse round, which normally is just outright worse than regular HE. But this one's special. It has a ton of pen because it's technically SAP. It behaves pretty strangely, so you can one-shot pretty much everything you see with it. So yeah, let's give it a shot and see how silly this is. I have tested this a little bit already, and it is very counterintuitive to use. Because typically with HE, you try to aim for, like, cupolas or sights or something like that. You know, just so you can overpressure the roof. But because this is SAP, it overpens huh? if you try to do that. Come on, repair. Repair. <laughs> uh, yeah, with, uh, with Soviet things, you just, you have to hit the, uh... You have to hit the road wheels. I don't know how to engage Swedish tanks with this, obviously. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't know how to deal with 2A7Vs or 122s from the front. <laughs> uh. I really wish that hadn't taken out my barrel. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, shoot the AGS first. No, that was me. Um... Nope, that did not do the trick. Yeah, I really need to, like, do some experiments and figure out where to shoot those, because we are running into quite a lot in this match. My track keeps getting taken out, like, every two seconds, please. What is that, 2S38? I hope that he's really dumb and just keeps on driving. Uh, like that. <laughs> Oh, I love HE so much, man. It's my favorite shell type. Oh, this artillery. To be perfectly honest, I don't know if this round should be behaving like this, but it's quite funny and I hope they don't fix it. <laughs> I love it. It's like having APHE at top tier. I don't have to worry about not one-shotting a Soviet tank or something. As long as I can see his road wheels. We are currently top of the team doing this. But yeah, like M1s, 2A4s, all super easy. It's just the up-armored leopards that I have no clue how to kill. Oh, Leclerc. I don't know how to deal with that either. Look carefully at the I really wish I weren't here right now button. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Wait, what? what is going on up there? Excuse me, sir. What? What are you doing? Okay, apparently you can also just road wheel up armored leopards. That's good to know. There is something else here as well. Um, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, that's another thing too. You can just barrel people if you don't know where to shoot. Alright, let's chase after this guy. Where on earth did this guy go? Oh, there he is. Uh... Okay, the road wheels did not work that time. That's interesting. <laughs> they worked that time, though. Uh... Okay, yeah. I don't know where to shoot this leopard exactly. There we go. I love doing silly stuff like this. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, the person in the email said that you can, uh... Hello? Is that a nuke? That's a nuke. <laughs> Legalized nuclear bombs. Oh, we lost, but we got a nuke. But yeah, the uh, person in the email said that with Soviet tanks, you can hit them in the turret and it'll kill them because it ignores ERA. I can confirm that is a lie. It does not ignore ERA. If you can manage to hit, like, tiny slivers of the turret that don't have ERA, it can work. At least that's what protection analysis says, but you know how much that lies. But anyway, it's like a pixel-sized weak spot, like, on the machine gun. I haven't tried it in a match, but it says it can work, so... Now you're probably thinking, wait, isn't that a time fuse shell? Wouldn't the rangefinder make that not work? And that is why we have a few rounds of APFSDS, because if you range fine see it sets the fuse but 
if you quickly switch to your APFS DS and then switch back, uh, do you mind? I'm trying to explain something. It keeps the distance, but it does not keep the fuse, so. Pro tip. Yeah, I probably should have been paying attention instead of just monologuing. That is gonna hurt us for sure. Uh, what is this thing? Uh... Okay, we took out his cannon barrel. BMP2M, do you need some help? Are you good, dog? Um... I got it. Okay, there he is. His barrel is still busted, thankfully. And then we can just... Uh... Not do that. Yeah, using this is a lot of trial and error, as you can imagine. Uh, did you disable him, T-72? Yeah, I'd say he's, uh, pretty disabled at this rate. Oh, uh... <laughs> well, we didn't get the kill, but we got the satisfaction of shooting him, at least. I think I hear a Vilkus. Isn't that a Skyrim character? Am I going crazy? Uh... <laughs> Wait, there's still someone on C. Sounds like he is right there. It's an Abrams. Uh, <laughs> I told you, man. M1s are, like, pitifully easy to kill. What's up? That was a cool slide, man. A few moments later. Oh. That's... <laughs> that's really awesome. This is incredibly gratifying because Soviet tanks have been able to do this since forever, you know? Like, you don't even need to grind darts on Soviet tanks because you can just use the HE to get consistent kills. And normally NATO 120s don't get any kind of HE, but this does and it's extremely funny. I keep forgetting to use protection analysis to figure out where to shoot 122s. I think 122s actually get this round, don't they? Just at a higher BR. Oh. <laughs> didn't even... Didn't even have to aim for that one. Uh... <laughs> I was trying to pen his side again, because I don't know if you guys noticed, on that first one, we actually penned his side, like APHE. I don't know who at Gaijin redesigned this map, but they did an awful job. I just spawned back in and I'm already being shot at. <laughs> I am still in my spawn. Alright, I've circumnavigated the entire map just to get out of my spawn. Well, there's a Challenger 3 that is just on the opposite side of the map. I'M GOING ON AN ADVENTURE! <laughs> That will never get old. It's just so nice being able to one-shot the Soviet MBTs consistently after hitting their ammo so many times with APFSDS and not doing a single thing. <laughs> well, we're definitely not winning this one, but I'm having a great time. Yeah, like I said, I don't feel any sympathy towards Soviet MBTs because they've been able to do this since forever. This might be selfish, but I really hope Gaijin doesn't nerf this. Did I just catch you having fun? Heaven forbid a NATO tank gets to do something funny with HE like Soviet tanks can. Ooh. Set that guy on fire. Oh, hold your horses, sir. That BMP was like ramming into me trying to get that kill. He wanted it bad. What is going on over there? Oh, I see. No, I did not lead that nearly enough. It's a very strange round to use because you can't hit the same weak spots every time. Where you aim depends a lot on where you're facing. Okay, that did not work. I think with 2A4s we have to hit closer to the turret ring, maybe. Damn. <laughs> I keep hitting the building. Did we... Yeah, we APHE'd that guy. Uh... <laughs> what is shooting me right now? Oh, this explains. As you can imagine, I've killed just hordes of HSTVLs using this. It's sad. It really is. I reckon that's probably the Vilkus on A. That is a DF-105. No, STRV, turn around! Oh, it was too late. Uh... He got his driver. Uh, 
Uh, half the time I never know if I'm actually going to kill them when I shoot. It's like gambling, except I'm not losing money when I do it. I think the fact that I'm consistently getting like 5 kill games with this is pretty impressive because I hate playing top tier. You guys know I hate playing top tier, but this makes it fun when I can use basically APHE. APHE enthusiast. Oh. I thought he broke my barrel for a second, but no, that was me firing my round. Yes, I'm very intelligent, in case you couldn't tell. Is that M109? <laughs> we used his own tools against him. I mean, it's not exactly like using APHE because, you know, most APHE has more pen than 65 mils, but it's fun. I don't know why so many people play the Vilgus. I was not impressed at all when I tried it out. No, oh my goodness. I have only played this tank using this strategy. My KD in it is currently 3.6, which is above average for my typical tank. I just noticed something. Okay, yeah, I don't think that's incredibly healthy. His leg is inside of the round. <laughs> to be completely honest, I have no clue what I'm doing. I am all by myself. I'm kind of just hoping that I can catch the enemy off guard. I don't know how well it's going to work. Uh, uh, what, what, what happened to my round? <laughs> okay, there we go. I would really like to know where the first round went, because that wasn't like packet loss or ping or anything, it just vanished. Oh, wizard just stole my round out of thin air. Oh, that doesn't look healthy. I'm very glad that BMP wasn't paying attention, because I wasn't either. Uh, let's see if we can get a sneaky kill on what is that hitting me. Let's see if we can just do that. Yep. I feel like there might be a Vilkis. I feel like that was the thing that was shooting me before. As long as we don't expose our side to him, we should be fine. Yeah, we're fine. Definitely a spike issue. Oh, that man's alive. How aware is he? <laughs> not, not incredibly. Oh, I should probably stop messing around over here and help my team with the objective. That might be a good plan. Let's just be safe. We got a ton of smoke. Let's use it. I'm gonna end up blinding myself with my own ESS. Are you alive? Not anymore. Ah, yeah. I forgot that most things at this BR have thermals. Oh, no, I don't have any more backups. Man, I don't want to buy anymore because I don't have that much GE. Gaijin is being a little bit slow in responding to my emails. Or they've just blacklisted me, you know. That's pretty likely too. I found this strat definitely works a lot better in CPC. Oh my god, that guy got so much air. Yeah, as I was saying, definitely works better in CQC than at long range. I think this is an indication that every MBT should just have like a 165 mortar on it. Just use the biggest HE round possible. Oh, no. I found that you actually have to avoid hitting the driver's port on the M1. Otherwise, it does not work. Um, what is shooting me currently? Oh, that explains why I still have three crew members left. <laughs> no, guys, HSTVL is fine. Trust me. Can we get a timer for how long it took me to react to that and I still killed him? Okay, so we know that the road wheel trick works on Soviet MBTs and Leopard 2s, but does it work on M1s, I wonder? Oh, I, I have to. I'm sorry, but... Where is he? Where'd the little low tier thing go? I want to use the time fuse on it. There he is. <laughs> oh, we... Air bursted him. Is that the correct usage of that word? Air bursted? Oop. <laughs> I love it so much. This is like the opposite of XM885. <laughs> yeah. 
I just, I can't stop laughing on every single kill. I feel like, with that being said, it's definitely gonna get nerfed now. I mean, that's just how it is. So yeah, that's M339. It is, uh, certainly quite a shell. I feel like in most circumstances, you are just better off taking APFS DS, but personally, I like it more. I prefer the damage potential over having to aim more carefully, especially when it comes to fighting T-Series tanks. I really hope that Gaijin doesn't nerf it, because I feel like it's not really broken. There are a lot of trade-offs to using it. Anyway, if you guys have suggestions for video topics, leave in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one.